Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So, I have some news about the Avengers Endgame. These are kind of some, some potential spoilers about, um, you know, characters that survived the snap and some characters that did not survive the snap possibly being alive. And one character that was not in Infinity War that is returning. Um, these are all figures of these characters. Um, and so basically the figures are starting to come out. <laughs> you know, like the actors, the actors that are in, you know, the Avengers movies, they can't say anything. I mean, they've signed contracts, you know, they're, they're legally binded to keep their mouths shut and they could get in a lot of trouble if they spoil anything about anything in Avengers Endgame. They can't say shit. They can't say anything. I mean, there's there's just a trailer for the Avengers Endgame, and that's it. I mean, that's basically the only thing that's, that's given us any information. However, you know, um, the Avengers Endgame is going to have action figures. The Avengers Infinity War had action figures. You know, the Avengers had action figures. Age of Ultron had action figures. Most of the MCU movies have had action figures of some sort. And, you know, um, the Avengers Endgame is going to be like this big um, cumulation of all these characters and, and, you know, probably dead characters coming back and, you know, the big final battle against Thanos and it might be the last movie with Captain America, Iron Man, the, the original Avengers, you know, they might retire after um, this movie. So it's a big movie, you know, you're going to want to make figures of, of these characters because some of them, they could die or retire, you know, it might be the, the big chance, the last chance to make figures of these characters and... Also, this movie, if they do bring back dead characters and stuff like that, this movie could be the movie where we see like a hundred Avengers all together fighting against Thanos. Maybe even Captain America says Avengers, a symbol. So they're definitely going to want to make action figures of all these characters and action figures for the Avengers Endgame. However, some of these action figures have already started to surface. And, you know, they're already being sold in stores. And, of course, these action figures can give... Um, they, they have some spoil, spoilers and some information about the Avengers Endgame. Um, it seems that c characters like Thor um, have the, the Quantum Realm suits, which is what um, Ant-Man uses, Scott Lang. So that might reveal that, that the characters travel in time or, you know, they use Quantum Realm suits to in, in an attempt to bring back the dead characters. And there's a figure of Thanos, there's a figure of the Hulk, and they're made in the same style that the the Hero Vision Avengers Infinity War figures were made, and I love those figures. I got every single one of them. The, the, the Hulk figure, he's in the Quantum Realm suit, and he comes with literally the same accessory that he came with um, in the Infinity War Hulk figure. Which, I mean, whatever, um, that's, that's okay. But then there's the, there's the Thanos figure... And he's got his little sword thing, and he's, he's got his, his armor, which I don't think he, he had at all during Infinity War, except in a flashback. But in this figure, he actually has his armor, he has his, he has his Infinity Gauntlet, he has his like double-bladed sword, I don't know what it's called. Um, they, they did technically make a Hero Vision Thanos figure. It was a Target exclusive, and it only had a few points of articulation. The cool thing about it was that it was taller than the Hero Vision figures, which actually kind of made um, sense proportionately. I mean, I think Thanos is like one of the tallest characters in Infinity War, but it's cool that you know they've they've made a normal sized Thanos figure, and it's cool that it looks like the end game figures are are made in the same style as the Hero Vision figures. So once I get the end game figures, I can match them up with the Infinity War Hero Vision figures. So that's cool. But there's just a few figures here and on the back it says it shows some of the other available characters. It appears to be Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow with her red hair. So I'm guessing that means at some point during the end game movie, um her she's going to let her red hair come back, her natural hair come back. Um, and in the, the trailer for Endgame, we just saw her with her, um, her fake blonde hair for her disguise that she died or whatever, but yeah, and we also have Star-Lord, um, there's a Spider-Man and, and Black Panther figure, there's the bigger, the taller figures, and those are Thor, Captain America, Iron Spider, and Black Panther, which kind of spoils that Iron Spider and Black Panther are going to be alive at some point in this movie, 
Which, I mean, Iron Spider, Peter Parker, we pretty much already know about him because of the Homecoming trailer. Uh, or not the Homecoming, the Far From Home trailer, which confirms that, he, that Peter Parker and Nick Fury are still alive. Kevin Feige even said that it takes place after um, Endgame. <laughs> so, yeah, but those, those tall figures, I never really understood the appeal of them. They're just kind of stupid looking. They don't have any articulation. Um, but they've been making them for, for several movies now. I don't get it. What do they do? What's the point? They just stand still and, and are stiff looking and they, they don't look very, they don't look good. Like, what's the point of buying those? They have no articulation. I don't know. But, um, with the Hero Vision type figures, it appears that they're making Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk, Thor, Black Widow, Rocket Raccoon, Star-Lord, and a few others. Um, a notable one is Valkyrie. Fucking Valkyrie. So it appears that if they're going like if they're going to make a figure a Valkyrie for Endgame, then that means she's going to have a big role in Endgame. You know, she wasn't even in Infinity War. Um, Thor said that like Thanos killed half of the Asgardians, the surviving Asgardians from Ragnarok, and I think the Russo brothers confirmed that half of them did get away. And I, and I think that Valkyrie might have played a part and, and helping them escape, and she might have survived the snap. So it looks like she's going to have a big role in Endgame because they made a figure of her. I really like the character, you know, in, in, in this day and age with some of this, 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 this gender war bullshit and, and women and men fighting each other rather than just trying to be fucking equals and this SJW bullshit and, and, you know, women trying to be superior to men instead of just trying to be equal. You know, I'm a feminist. I think men and women should be equal. But, but when I see women trying to dominate men and, like, you know, take over everything, it's like, okay, that's not the solution. <laughs> I don't think that's the solution any more than I think uh, men taking over and dominating stuff is the solution. It should just be equal. Like, if men have done stuff wrong against women, I don't think women should get revenge because there's innocent men. You know, like, women and men should just work towards being equal. This, this gender war, SJW bullshit, um, it's just bullshit. And, and, you know, people that claim to be feminists when they really just hate all men, that, that's stupid. Uh, you know, and, and, and women being Mary Sue type characters and being like, no, having no flaws and being perfect and, and all the men characters are just like, um, drooling idiots. I liked Valkyrie because she was a good, strong female character in Thor Ragnarok. Um, but she has flaws. You know, she's pretty much an alcoholic. She has an alcohol problem. She has flaws. You know, she's sort of, um, she's kind of distanced herself from her past life because of, of, of her, her sadness and her guilt about losing all of her fellow soldiers when they first fought against Hela. You know, she and Thor seem to have an interesting relationship. They didn't make out at any point in the movie. It seemed like maybe there's a possible romance being set up between them, but they didn't rush it. I really, really, really liked her character. I really, really liked Valkyrie. And I was kind of disappointed that she wasn't in Infinity War at all. I mean, if she didn't have a part in the movie, like if there wasn't a place for her, fine. But if she has a, a big role in Endgame and she survived the snap and everything... That's good. I can't wait to see more of her story and more of that character because I really liked her. You know, she, she is a good example of a wit of a woman that you write well. You know, like a strong woman that that has flaws and is real and doesn't just hate men or you know stuff like that. Like I'm sick of that crap. <laughs> um, but I really liked her character, and if they're making an action figure of her, then that's a good that that means that's a good indication that that she's going to have a, a big role in Endgame. But yeah, um, also, I don't, I wouldn't consider myself spoiling anything. I mean, for those of you that, that know me and know my Walking Dead videos, you know that I am a non-spoiler channel. I don't do anything that's, that's spoilers or, you know, anything like that, like spoiler leaks, like, you know, people running around with cameras trying to sneak, get, sneak around and film things they shouldn't film in the middle of the night while they're filming stuff in the sets, you know, sneaky people trying to get spoilers. Um, I don't cover that crap, um, but... Wait, this is different. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna have the toy companies, you know, sell toys and like, like if 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 McFarland Toys releases a picture of of the new five-inch Ezekiel figure, complete with you know removable head-on spike, 
then yeah, I'm going to make a video about that and how, about how that confirms that Ezekiel is going to die in season 9. You know, don't release toys of stuff if you don't want spoilers to come out. That's, no, no, it's different. If you're going to release toys, then yeah, I'm going to make a video about it. If toys are going to surface in stores, I don't care if it's in my city. If it's in other cities, I'm going to make a video about it. So I don't consider this a spoiler video. You know, they're releasing toys. It's going to happen. It, it's, 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 it is what it is. I have no problems making videos about it, so yeah. With all that said, I am really excited for these figures. I'm really excited for the Avengers Endgame, so yeah. Um, just let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. Right now, we are at 325 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 400 in the next few months. So just remember, every subscriber counts. Every bit of support matters and is very, very appreciated. Hopefully we can get to that 400 subscriber goal. We're just 75 away from 400. Just 75 away. Hopefully we can get to that 400 goal. And with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye!